Herkese merhabalar. Kanalıma tekrar hoş geldiniz. E, biliyorsunuz ciddi bir kaza geçirdim ama buna rağmen videoları yapmak istiyorum. Çünkü bu benim işim gibi hissediyorum. Yani artık zaten işim öyle düşünüyorum. Biraz hafifledi acılarım ama hala bir hasar var. Neyse. Bugün yine İngilizceden bahsedeceğiz. Yine Seal yanımda. Ve ona onun şu anda bilmediği yani daha önce sormadığım, söylemediğim terimlerden, kelimelerden bahsetmesini isteyeceğim. Yani benim de bilmediğim işte atıyorum bu ne demek, bu nereden gelmiş vesaire gibi terimleri, kelimeleri sormak istiyorum. O bana açıklayacak. Ben de sizinle bunu paylaşmak istiyorum. Umarım hoşunuza gider. Lütfen bu konuyla alakalı, bu paylaşımla alakalı yorumlarda bulunmayı unutmayın. Feedback yani geri dönüşler çok önemli benim için. Sizin neler düşündüğünüzü çok merak ediyorum bu videolarla alakalı. Hey Sal, how are you? Good. Okay, I just want to ask you like couple saying, phrases or whatever. Mm -hmm. I just want to ask you what that means and where that came from, if you know any background. Okay. If the, if you don't know or right. if you don't have any idea about it, that's not a big deal. Okay. Just like you can skip the like we can ask that and then we can go to another one. Okay. So I just want to start with the I heard these phrases, okay. and these words, and I never heard it before. I just okay. want to like see what that means and right. stuff. You okay. Sure. Sure. So I want to start with that. I called it off. Called it off. Called okay. it off. What does that mean? That means that um, I decided to stop something, like the, a, a meeting, or uh, that had been arranged. If you call off a meeting, you cancel the meeting. Okay. Normally, like called means yes. like you can call someone. Right. Okay. You come here, like or whatever. You can right. call by phone and stuff. It has nothing to do, I don't think, with the phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's why I, I picked some sort of yeah. like this kind of stuff right. that I want to share. And anyway. Yeah. So another one, I don't know if that's like kind of awkward or whatever, and you don't have to answer, by the way. I heard it on the TV show. Yeah. And I take a note. Right. And I just wonder, like, what does that mean? Right. You know? So what does knock her up means? Oh, well, that's a kind of crude expression um i've never said it uh i've never heard anybody say it you know it, i heard it on tv it, show on so tv but in person i've never really heard anybody use it is that bad things it's say? not a terrible thing um but it refers to a woman getting pregnant mm -hmm. and um i'm guessing it's it's usually used like i said you say like on tv and there was a movie mm -hmm. called knocked up um I think it, there is a movie. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, with Seth Rogen, yeah. and um, I, th I think it's usually used uh, when a pregnancy occurs outside of marriage, and uh, hmm. yeah, something like that. So I that, would never say something like, "Oh, my daughter got knocked up." You know, I mean, you know, that would or be some of your that would be really or... inappropriate. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not a common expression. It's very hmm. kind of crass. Then we shouldn't use that, if unless. Uh -huh. Let's say you don't like someone. I mean, not yeah. for us. Mm. I'm talking with other people, right. right? Who is watching us right now? Right. Let's say they don't like somebody. I'm yeah. just trying to understand. Sure. That's why right. I'm like getting yeah. wired. Good question. So let's say they don't like someone, and like mm. they want, they are, they saw that person got pregnant from someone right. who is like out of marriage and right. stuff, right. and then they says like, did you know that that woman got? Right. Not, not I would or... say it's never appropriate. No. <laughs> yeah. For you maybe, but somebody use it. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Not like okay, for you, for yeah. me, I, right. I wouldn't use it either. Like right. I, to be honest. Right. But I, I'd be really surprised to hear anybody use it, but uh yeah. Yeah, it could be it's it, it Okay. It could be people out there using that expression. I, yeah. <laughs> people are doing a lot of <laughs> yeah, stuff. That's so right. <laughs> you're good point. <laughs> like I don't want to even bring it our president here, yeah, like who yeah. we have, like and what know. he has done before. Yeah. So if he done that kind yeah. of stuff, people can do a lot of stuff too. You're right. You're right. That's a good point. <laughs> anyway, um, no politics. So okay. <laughs> so the next one is by all means. By all means, um, it's used uh, when you want to say absolutely, for sure, yes. I agree with you. I, or oh. It's more like um, used for somebody might say, "May I borrow your coat or something?" I say, "Oh, by all means, please, yes, you know, by all means." Or like, I'm gonna help you with the coat, yeah, jacket or whatever. Either asking a favor or um, 
or you might say something, you know, by all means, you should do whatever you think is the best thing right here. You know, mm -hmm. like if you're making, somebody making a decision, oh, by all means, do, you know, do what's best for you. That kind of, does that make sense? Um, for I'm, you or for me? Probably for you, for the other person, sort of. You're kind of, um, it, it's more on the receiver's end, I guess, by all means. Help yourself to some coffee, yeah, by yeah. all means, and, you know. Um, That's kind of like um, strange and um, kind of like new things to learn for yes. me, to be honest. Like, let's say. There's that word I'm just mean trying to like, right? I'm, yeah, mean, right? There is a yes. lot of mean. Mean is all so over the place. So let's say, like, I'm, I'm gonna ask, like, hey, Sal, can I have some breakfast? Yeah. If you say, like, by all means. Yes, help yourself. Or, that or, means, like, whatever you yes. want, just like, is that mean kind that of that way? That way, and yeah, somebody might be asking permission for something, and you'd say, by can all I, means. Can I use your car yeah, for a Yeah, by like, all means, you know, yeah. Is it's, that mean? Mm -hmm, kind absolutely. Of? Okay. I, I think so. that's what I think it's generally that's fine. used for. Yeah. yeah, okay. I like this one. Okay. I lately heard that like a <laughs> couple months fun. ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, everybody goes ape shit. Oh. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Again, probably not an expression I would use. Okay. <laughs> um, but I have heard that's, you know, not a very graceful expression either, but it's probably a little more common than the other one we were talking about. I heard that from yeah. some people yeah. too, using yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, so it not means, only it means going just... really, getting somebody getting very upset and very mm. emotional. Why they are using this kind of phrase? Like, what is it? Yeah, right, ape. that's a good question. <laughs> I have no idea where this expression came from. <laughs> ape shit, yeah. what is yeah. that? Like, <laughs> I... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I, you know, we can guess, you know, but I, I have no idea what that. Where it came. Okay, so that means everybody goes crazy. Yeah, like, upset. Very somebody's upset? very upset. Yeah, it's not uh, a good thing. It's usually angry. I would say. Like, okay, let me try to understand. Like, mm -hmm. you go to store like right before pandemic, right? Yeah. And everybody like was upset and uh, angry and mm -hmm. try to get everything done, like nobody respect each other and stuff and then like you can't say like oh my god it was disaster everybody goes ape shit uh, kind of maybe um, I'm trying to think of a different expression for that situation that you might hear more often um, like like an idiom isn't coming to mind but that would be more like describing like there was a lot of tension in the air you could you know you you know everybody was you know on edge Mm -hmm. Maybe on edge. on edge. Like. Yeah, everybody was on edge. But <laughs> no, when, like when you when you say ape, I would I would say ape shit is oftentimes used for an individual person who like you know an event occurred and they reacted to something mm -hmm. and they went you know ape shit over because this happened or that happened. They got very angry, you know. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Good. Totally. All right. Okay, uh, bodega or bodega. I don't. I'm not all that familiar with that word, but I believe it's a small Mexican grocery store. Is that right? Mexican or Italian? I'm not sure. Okay. But I heard it on TV show again. Yes. Which is, uh, I told my audience that you can learn right. English like with a different variation and they, right. like a lot of different stuff. That yes. is really good opportunity to learn. Yes. And you can use that language better right. with the TV shows and movies, right? which is you can learn bad words too sometimes yes. because there is no limit, right? Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Especially nowadays. Oh yeah, nowadays. <laughs> I love that. And yeah, I heard that bo bodega. Yeah. So that means small store, but Mexican maybe. I think. I, this is not English word. I think, I, you I know, believe. a Latin, yeah, like Mexican. Latin, yeah. And I'm guessing, you know, I, again, this is not a word I'm familiar with, but something like, like they might have little gourmet items, specialty items, very authentic, fresh kind of thing. I'm guessing. Like, uh, like unique and geographic stuff too? Yeah, like, yeah. Maybe like... I suppose. Again, I don't know. Okay. But uh, that's what I'm guessing. That makes sense. All right. Probably this is the last one for now. Okay. And maybe you can add something on it. Like some, okay. if you want to say, like maybe you should say this too. <laughs> anyway. Okay. I'm swell. Swell is used in a lot of different ways. So when you say I'm swell, which I'm not sure people use it that way very often. Um, it means I'm good. I'm yeah. doing fine. <laughs> okay. or, or it could mean um, 
somebody could say, can I borrow your car? Swell. It's actually, my sense of it is it was used a lot more decades ago, in like the 1950s. Like, that's that, swell. Yeah. But oh. you understand that. Yeah, that's swell. Oh, golly gee whiz, that's really swell. Golly gee whiz. Yeah, you know, like, an, it's what not What does that a, mean? Yeah. <laughs> what is See, yeah, these are older expressions. Golly. Well, oh, my. Like, you know, golly? it's just, yeah, golly. Gee whiz, yeah. Gee whiz. So, <laughs> funny. Oh, <huh? laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when it comes to the word swell, um, unless it's made a, a comeback that I'm not aware of, I, I don't think many people use that word anymore. No, yeah. Not anymore. But they might, like I say, that maybe it's making a comeback and I'm just not aware of it. Hmm. But um, I use it now. Do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> now. You pull my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Another what <does> expression. That mean? <laughs> I wonder where that one came from. What Pulling my leg means. Um, tricking when you're tricking somebody. Really? Yeah. Or teasing somebody. You know, don't. Yeah. <laughs> you're pulling my leg. Yeah. That's good too. Yeah, I don't so know. So thank that you for came. adding that one, the last one. <laughs> anyway, I I had, I enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. It was really fun. It was really fun, and maybe we should do this kind of stuff more. Sure. I can like set it up the phrases and stuff. I can yeah. keep asking you, <laughs> and I share with. I'm them. not an expert, but yeah, I'll, I'll be glad you to You are expert for many many stuff. So <laughs> stop it. Okay. Anyway, do you want to say anything else to? Bye bye. Yes. <gülüyor> Umarım memnun kalmışsınızdır videomuzdan. Böyle videolarla gelmeye çalışan memnunsanız eğer hoşunuza gittiyse lütfen bu konuyla ilgili yorum yapmayı unutmayın aşağıda belirtin. Nasıl videolar istiyorsanız onlardan da bahsedin. Teşekkür ederim izlediğiniz için. Lütfen takip etmeyi unutmayın, abone olmayı unutmayın. Bu çok önemli ve paylaşırsanız bu videoyu da çok mutlu olurum. Görüşmek üzere. Bye bye.